Pi binomials uh, one. <coughs> First, I'm gonna, well, or sorry, two. Um, I'm gonna do it the long way, and for the first one and the, the following ones, I'm gonna do it the short, the shorter way. Okay, so remember that uh, while FOIL is a nice little mnemonic device, it's also not the best thing in the world. It's making you remember something so that you don't fully understand it. So it's just the distributive property multiple times over. Okay. Now whether I want to distribute this parentheses into these things or this parentheses onto these things here, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to take this and distribute it to both of these things just so that what results looks a little more natural. Okay. But it, it, I would do the same thing here if I had 9x plus 10 times 3. Distribute the three to both of these things, and I would get 27x plus 30. Right? Agreed? You good? Good that. Okay. Uh, so we distribute this just like we would the three. We're going to distribute this parentheses to the 9x. So we get 9x times negative x minus 9 plus 10 times the exact same thing, negative x. Notice all that happens is each term has to multiply, be distributed through this parentheses right here. Each term of this needs to get distributed through this. You can see that here. So we distribute the 9x. What's 9x times negative x? Negative 9x squared. Very good. Okay. Remember positive times negative is negative. That's one mistake that gets made a lot. And x times x is x squared. It's not 2x. It's not just x. It's x squared, that's the definition of x squared, is x times itself, x squared. Okay, what's negative 9x times negative 9? Positive or negative? negative. It's negative. negative. 81x. Okay, plus, plus a 10 times negative x, what's positive 10 times negative x? Negative, negative 10x, 10 times negative 9. We've got some light terms here that we can combine. So we got negative 9x squared minus 91x minus 9. Uh, there it is right there. So that's what I'm going to answer. So now I won't distribute the parentheses to each thing. I'm just going to recognize that, hey, there's this need to just take everyone in here and distribute it to everything in here. That's all that we need to do. Okay? That's where FOIL comes from, just making sure that you make all of those pairs. Okay? This pairs with that guy, and, and this also pairs with this one, this one pairs with this one, and that one. Okay? So I'm going to take the, the way I do it when I multiply any, you know, multiplying three terms by seven terms, whatever it is. I just take the first one, I distribute it, get all that stuff. Take the second one, distribute it, third one, distribute it. We don't have a third one, we just have a second one. Okay. But I just distribute every term through these parentheses, write the terms down, combine if necessary, if possible. Okay. So distribute the 8x, what's 8x times negative 5x? 40x squared. Okay. Distribute the 8x. 10, someone beside me, 80x. Okay, I've distributed the 8x and I'm done. Okay. Uh, next, I distribute the 8 to the negative 5x. What do I get? Negative 40x, it's an x term. So what I like to do now is to put that vertically with the like terms so that I can put those together later. And then 8 times 10, 80, that's the only constant around, so I don't need to put anything else. So here we go, negative 40x squared plus 40x plus 80. There we are. Uh, looks like none of these are going to work. And then these, so I would answer none of the above. Okay. Maybe, maybe 
maybe this is there trying to trick us because we should have gotten a negative 40x. But if you got a positive 40x by accident, then you would have added them together again. Maybe the last one. Maybe this is plenty. Uh, so distributing the 9x, 9x times negative 7x, we know the x times x is going to be x squared. 9 times negative 7 is going to be negative 3x squared. Excellent. 9x times negative 1, negative 9x. Distribute the negative 6 to the negative 7x, we get a positive, actually it's, a, it's an x term, so I'm going to put it right here, a positive 42x. And negative 7 times negative 1, we get to use this positive sign because negative times negative is positive, and you're positive six. Negative sixty-three x squared plus thirty-three x plus six. How do you feel about multiplying binomials two? Which really means like there could be anything in front of x. There could be positives. There could be negatives. Just anything you'd be throwing. Remember your negatives, your positives, your x times x is x squared, all that stuff. Oh, I did want to include this one, so we won't, uh, we won't gloss over this one. Um, x plus 7 squared, very common mistake would be to write that this is what? x squared plus 7 squared, maybe 2x plus 7 squared. I think what I see most often is this, this feeling like we're supposed to distribute that too. Distribution is not for exponents. Distribution is when you multiply parentheses by something. What does it mean to square something? If I'm squaring a number, what, what am I doing to that number? Right. And that applies to anything. Whatever that thing is, we multiply it by itself. So we multiply x plus 7 by itself. And then we distribute just like we would in any other scenario. Distribute x to both of these guys, distribute the 7 to both of these guys. So we get x squared plus 7x. That's done, right? The x got distributed. x is a 7, 7x seven plus 49. It's no surprise if we wind up with two 7x's. They're identical, so you're going to get two 7x's. You're going to add them together and get 14x. x squared plus 14x plus 49. Uh, now, what would I answer in this case? No. I would answer none of the above, but it turns out it may have been a glitch. This is the first time I've seen this. It looks like the person answered none of the above, but it's red, so I got counted as well. If that happens, you should, if you, if you want, I mean, don't, don't waste your time if you don't want to, but there is a little report of mistake with this question. That's the first mistake I see. So, but as with anything, even with a textbook, there are typos where it says the answer is something other than what it's supposed to be. Okay? So nothing's perfect. Keep your eye out on that. If you think you found a mistake, let me know. Chances are you have not found a mistake. But uh, if you have, we'll identify it. If you haven't, then we'll figure out what's been wrong. Now, um, factoring a quadratic. Let's go over that real quick. There's going to be more of this. I just wanted you to take a shot at it last time and get a couple of them right. Okay. Uh, this is just going backwards. We can multiply binomials now. Let's assume we can multiply binomials now. Now we're just going backwards. And we're going to take this and write it as two binomials being multiplied together. Okay. And this is factoring quadratics of one, which means pretty simple. Uh, nothing out here in front of the x squared, just a one x squared, so that's easy. Got to be x times x, right? It's the only way. Now we'll jump over here. Got to get an eight, right? Got to get a minus eight. You might say, oh, I can get eight. I'll do. Uh, x plus 2, x plus 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Right? Except for it's not a minus. It's not a negative 8. Okay, so we got to mess around with that a little bit. That's not working out. It's, it's supposed to be a, a negative 8. So if I make this negative, now I'm in business. I do get x squared. 
at the very end, I do get minus 8. Right. If I were to multiply these out, I would get plus 2x minus 4x, and that would give me x squared minus 2x minus 8 if I combine these like terms. That's not what I'm looking for. For minus 7x. And it may take you a little bit of trial and error, messing around with it, thinking, what can I multiply to make negative 8 that add together to make negative 7? So it's going to be arrive at x plus 1, x minus 8. Oh, right, that does give me negative 8. That gives me x, just an x minus 8x. I get a positive x and a negative 8x and negative 7x total. Let's just take some practice, a little trial and error at first to get the hang of it. Uh, realize you've got to break this down into its factors. Decide whether it's two positives, two negatives, a positive and a negative. Right? If I had two positives here, then what would this be? If I had a positive number and a positive number, this would be a positive number. If I had a negative number and a negative number, what would this be? It would be positive. But then what would this middle term be? That would be negative because it would be the sum of two negative numbers, so it would be negative. And like I said, there's going to be more of that today, like actual going into it, explaining it more in, deep, in depth, more detail. Okay, so again, we're trying to write this as the product of two binomials. We know we've got to have an x times an x to get x squared. Jump over here to the constant term. That's going to be easy too. I'm going to need to multiply two numbers to get negative 30. At least by easy, I mean it limits our options quite a bit. I need to multiply to get 30. Well, that's that could be 10 and 3. Right? 10. Oh, and I'll put negative 3 so that I get a negative 30, like I should. 10 times negative 3 would give me the negative 30. When I try that out, I get 10x minus 3x. I do get that minus 30, like I needed to. But then I get 7x. It's no good. So I'm going to keep it with a positive and negative, but I'm going to toy with it until I can get a positive 1x in the middle there. Positive, negative. So we're thinking under how these two things are going to add together. You need to add together to make a positive 1x. So these two things, these two numbers, are going to differ by 1. 6x and negative 5x ought to do the job. 6x minus 5x is 1x. Okay? Um, that's just a little bit of recap of some of the stuff we did before. Um, what you're going to do today is see why exactly we would want to do this. Why do we want to factor a quadratic like that into the product of two binomials? solve quadratic equations. It's just an intro into solving quadratic equations, just getting started. Factoring is usually our first approach to that. It's pretty simple. So you're, you're free to, to go uh, on to the next part as you want. Uh, I have one more set of headphones. Try and be more pushy, I guess. With my help. Seeing who is doing all right, who's having trouble with that. Yeah, she read the pass. Um, see, as you move along, how, how everybody's doing, and if you're having trouble, I'm going to come over and <laughs> ask you how it's going, how I can help. But it would be best if you said well, to yourself, I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here, so I'm going to ask for help. And 
have to take another out from the right? Otherwise, 